Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending with where you are watching me from. You are watching me from East Africa, Kenya. And if it is your very first time watching Baby Carol and you haven't subscribed, kindly do so for more and more amazing video. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video and uh, may God bless you so, so much. Yeah, so today actually is a, it's a special day. Yeah, every day is a special day to me and uh, wow yeah the the sun actually is just coming it wants to coach like a very early right now it's 10 a.m in the morning but you can see the way it's coaching up yeah so today in the morning actually i had um, i have arrived like uh at around 9 a.m and uh i was trying to do some some little work here at home and uh I also dried up this maize here because uh, you know the maize which we had grinded like uh, it's already depleting yeah it usually depletes faster because uh, you know the carpenters told me that uh, okay for them they told me like um, they don't love mostly rice they don't have you know some people may be wondering why do we always cook ugali 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 yeah so there's a, actually a carpenter who told me like uh, he's not uh, used to taking rice because it's a uh, light food so he said like he needs heavy food like ugali he said even if he eat ugali lunch time ugali during supper lunch supper ugali lunch supper they said like uh, they cannot get bored with it because uh, ugali it's uh, somehow a uh, heavy food when you eat it you become satisfied so they told me rather than preparing a uh, light food, better prepare like ugali daily, daily. So the ugali, the fly usually depletes within two days. I think two days. The, that I'm going to show you the bucket. Yeah, so it usually depletes faster. And uh, I put here some maize so that they could dry up. And I go to the posho meal. I'm going to show you the way it's uh it's just a not a big distance from here where we are we just get like a past that church over there yeah so it's not that uh, very far so we have like to put them on the sun to dry then um take it the portion meal so i leave it drying here i didn't put it long time ago and i'll be heading here to want first to sweep the room yeah let me sweep here quickly it's a uh, kind of dirty then i'll get back to you i'm going to show you the theme of the day today yeah so family watch this video till the end don't forget to hit the like button drop some sweet comment for me tell me what you think about this video so let me see the area very quickly and i also have to rush the portion meal then prepare some nice lunch actually today i'm going to show you what i came up with today you see i bought some tomato and actually they are very big they are very big so they usually sell one tomato at uh, like this the way they are like this it's around 0 0.6 dollar one tomato goes at uh, 10 kenyan shilling one tomato yeah so these are the tomatoes for today and we have here some i bought some sardines but the sardines they they won't take it today and they'll take it the in the evening during the evening so I, I bought some eggs for today, which uh, they will have together with the kales or the colored greens together with ugali. Yeah, so let me make this our room here clean. Then I'll get back to you, family. Don't come out of your screen. I love you so, so much. Yeah, so let me just put it here and uh, one, two, three, very quickly. already swept the inside part where they usually sleep here on the bedroom so I was just remaining with this few area here And you know, 
today today we bought some i bought some beans actually these red beans you know there's different types of beans there's one which they call the is it rose cocoa there's another one which they call surabaya there's uh, like there are of different types yeah so this one right here today in the evening i'm going to 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 boil them and uh i let it to boil here on this our jiko right here so that at least we can cook um tomorrow they can take uh maize and beans for lunch yeah so i'll have to pick them you can see it's very dirty tear some leaves even there's a maize here you see the white thing yeah so i also have to collect it it becomes clean then uh, we'll put it on the jiko so that it can cook uh, in the evening overnight together with the maize then tomorrow they'll have it for for lunch yeah so stay tuned so right now i'm done with the sweeping and everything i'm done also preparing the kales you know yeah so i think i'll go to the portion meal after i come back is when i'll fry the eggs yeah so i want to do something we call winnowing here and uh, the wind is not that much you know you have to do when there's at least some wind right here the wind but let me try so I'm trying like to bring it together like this You know you have to hold it tight so that you cannot pour the the maize down or else you will have to sleep hungry you can see it's trying to go away It requires like a big basin. This basin is so so small. the process you can also remove some there's some tiny dust like this one when you don't remove them you get the the, the fly usually becomes oh, we have to remove some pieces of rotten maize like this one so if you don't get to remove them it will get uh, to taste bitter and it won't be that sweet you know the process of winnowing some maize also usually fall we have to collect them back and take them inside here yeah so like a no waste we have to take everything from the ground if there could be chickens here we could be competing with them in <laughs> in removing the maize from the ground you know they love maize so so much yeah so let me do faster quickly then we go to the posho meal actually the sun is so so hot and um some people told me at the comment section like i i go i find a a hat yeah i think soon i'll have to do so because uh, you know when the sun becomes too hot you even become tired of maybe doing something it makes you to to become weak yeah soon soon i'll look for a hat 
least it can prevent you from too much sun even prevent the face from burning up this is our pathway right here so right now we are heading to the potion mill and uh, i i want to use a, a shortcut because there is a long cut when uh, you pass through the main gate so i'm passing through the back gate right here and this is my flour my not flour my maize and uh, it has a lid here and uh, you know it's kind of uh, it got burnt <laughs> you can see this side is protruded somehow it got burnt uh, i think it was near the fire so it was almost like uh, burning up so it got burnt but uh, i saved it from burning you know plastic usually like catch heat like they usually catch fire too fast or too quickly yeah so when you don't save it it gets burnt very quickly yeah so right now we are heading and i want to use this path towards the it's kind of a forest you can see there's a a nice shade which is just here on the other side from the other side it's uh, quite hot yeah you see there the way the sun is scorching yeah. so we are using this pathway right here let me close the gate you know it's good when uh, you come out of the gate you have to close it I think I'll close it from the inside part. Let me try. I think I can start. So here we go. Here we go. There's a shortcut right inside here. And you know deep here inside the forest, some people have you know they have like a uh, tall tree so they'll get to cut them when someone maybe needs for building when someone needs for firewood they'll get to cut for you and when they cut it like on the other side where i showed you he cut like everything again he replanted some new ones yeah so this is the pathway which i'm using just towards here yeah with my bucket right here here we go so let's go to the potion mill when i get back we'll continue with our video actually here it's a very cool place you know the trees are providing some nice shade some nice shade over here yeah you can see the other area it has been cut down the trees you know the trees like uh, usually makes a place to look so so beautiful when you cut it even the environment changes it doesn't look like the way it was before and here many people are living around like there are so many neighbors around even there's a school a neighboring school around it's a cool place oh my god it has been fenced there's also a shortcut right over here but you know it's on someone's compound so he has fenced it but there's still a, another way right over here let's go the sun is too hot it's scorching so hard oh my god i just hope the way hasn't been closed you know yeah so right here i'm by the potion mill and the voice is too too high so after i get here we'll meet at home it's just on this door just right over here yeah so let me look after my mail then after i finish i'll be heading home and Prepare some nice ugali for our muscles. Big, big love. Stay tuned. Don't come out of your screen. Yeah, so this is how we grind the maize. Actually, I'm fearing to fill him because not every person is. Uh, there's some people are phobia. Yeah, so I cannot get to fill him inside. So when I get home, we'll prepare some nice, nice ugali. Right here, I've grinded our maize flour and. Uh, Actually, it's almost full. I don't know if it will get to fit. So they get to put the maze inside here. The switch is over here. Yeah, so he has to press it so that it can be on. And he has a wooden chair here. This is a piece of a big tree log. 
Yeah, so there are two types of portion meal. There's that one which uses oil, petrol. I don't know if it's petrol oil. It's this one, and there's another one which uses uh, electricity. Yeah, so they get to put here, and uh, they open here, so the maize flows. It comes. It comes like this. Boom! It flows through this uh, piece of cloth right here and towards inside here. So I'm going to pour it inside here. So when your bucket gets to become full, you have to take this basin and uh, so that the mist flour can enter inside. So I'll, I'll not close the lid because it's actually very full. So I have to press. like today I put a lot of maize but at least it will last long yeah let me press it outside here with this are fresh these are flat here you try to press it so that it can become it can be easy to carry so actually today is a weekday we could have find like many children here coming to to the portion meal but right now they are in school so when you come he gets to grind for you your meal then you go I think I'll have to carry these because it cannot actually close here on the other side you see it's very full it can pour so I'll have to carry it this way yeah so let's go home yeah home sweet home i'm back home and our flat is here so i'm going to take it inside the house and on the other side i was trying to collect some some beans i was trying to collect off the dirt while transferring to this basin here such that when i finish i'll later wash them and put them in a, in a cooking pot yeah, so I'll need again to light up my jiko right away so that I can fry the cooking pot. And right here, Ezi. Hello. Hi. 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 Mm -hmm. It I? has been a while. <laughs> welcome. Welcome home. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hello. What's up, guys? My name is Ezi. Yeah. Welcome to the Biscaros channel. So... I actually brought her some maize. There's some maize here. Wow, you've come home with some maize. And it's, it's, it's uh, hot. It's hot, guys, yeah? Yeah. So, my name is Ezi, guys, once again. Mm -hmm. If this channel, you can consider subscribing, liking, and dropping a comment. Yeah. So, I'm, uh, I've arrived at home. Yeah. I'm happy. How was the journey? The journey has not been smooth, but uh, we thank God, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, it's about school and everything now going to coming back, but I'm excited. Wow. For this journey. Yeah. How's yeah. school? School? Yeah. Ah, there are, there are a lot of <laughs> muzungus there. Ah. Yeah, there are a lot of, I've seen a lot of big things. Wow. Big cars, big buildings. Wow. Tall buildings. Wow. So it's amazing. So even the muzungus, they land in the school? Yeah, it's, it's, wow. a, it's a, an international. Wow. Yeah, so thank you so much, Auntie Moe, for this, you know. Wow, we are also happy and, for you yeah. when at least uh, you went to school because it has been one of your biggest dreams. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you also for the for the maize. No problem. It's, it's, uh, it looks very sweet. Yes, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This boiled maize. So I've arrived yeah. this morning. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I, I'm, I, I said I must come and say hi. Wow. Before now, maybe I go to take a rest and everything. Yeah. And just relax. Wow. You see, it's it's been like one week guys, since I haven't like moved here. I haven't come here. Yeah. It's I think all... I left on Thursday mm -hmm. last week. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, guys. So I had to go earlier to prepare myself for the school and everything for preparations because I, I didn't mm -hmm. know what was required and what. Mm hmm But uh, that's why I went early. Yeah. Then I went home. Yeah. Now I came here. 
Wow. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. Yeah, Welcome so home. Yeah. Yeah. I really appreciate it. How are you faring on? I see now the roof is complete. Yeah, the mm. roofing is complete. <laughs> and actually, we are very happy for this progress. Yeah. And it was complete not a long time ago. Yeah. It's like, uh, I think, uh, two days have passed right now. And uh, Kemi and uh, BT, they brought a... Uh, uh some celebration they brought some two chickens wow where, where are they i saw them but <laughs> you I, missed them yeah I, oh yeah they're already dead yeah, they're, they're already in the toilet the, the soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh. like we ate it long time ago so i think uh, they are already oh. flushed <laughs> well that's yeah. good that's good celebration i was i uh, wish i was here but i couldn't but yeah. um I was with you with the videos watching wow. and everything. Wow. So yeah, it's good yeah. to be back, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. feel very happy. Well, welcome. Yeah. Yeah. The sun is too hot. The sun? Yeah. But I think home home is home, you know. Yeah. Yeah, even when it's too hot. You know there the weather of there is kinda different, yeah. It's uh, cold. It's cold, it's rainy one time. Mm hmm Yeah, and very cold. The place I was was very cold. Oh. Yeah, at some point, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but now, also now, home now it's very hot. Extra this. It's hotter than this. Yeah, my place is semi desert. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah, in uh, some desert, in desert area, it's usually a uh, very hot place. Yeah. Yeah. My place so is semi desert, so it's actually hot than this place. Mhm. Mm so this place is cool. Actually, there it's dry yeah. and everything. People can't plant and everything. Yeah. So here, when I see rivers and everything. You know, I just feel like going to shower and to the river and uh, dipping myself. You know, <laughs> by the, no, by no, the goodness, uh, we have a river nearby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe you you can try it anytime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the goodness now, you, you get to understand how now we are blessed here mm -hmm. in yeah in the village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah so when you get to explore and see things, but yeah. it was just for us. So I'm I'm also now gonna be going each and every weekend and coming. Yeah 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 but i'm excited yeah yeah at least now this year i can say i'm a graduate wow yeah congratulations thank you so much yeah it's a very big achievement congratulations to you yeah thank you thank yeah. you so much welcome so you see you are cooking yeah i, I had gone to the kosher meal mm -hmm. i had gone to grind some flour yeah. some maize flour mm -hmm. yeah i wanted to prepare some nice ugali with some kale uh, and with also some there's some eggs inside wow yeah wow. yeah I've you're missed, right on I've time i missed your food you're right on time yeah. it's meal time i'd miss your food <laughs> so today guys yeah at least i can taste it now and feel at home yeah yeah, yeah you're welcome yeah so let's see how it's gonna be let me bring you a, a chair so that you can sit on Maybe on the shed because right here it's uh, sunny. Sun. Yeah, maybe on the other side. Some nice maize here. Actually, it's all so sweet. Yeah, brought here. It's so sweet. I wanted to climb here on the tank and take some water so that I could wash these utensils. You know, like every utensil is dirty, so when I cook, there'll be no plate for eating. Yeah, so I wanted to. The water is boiling for cooking ugali. Yeah, so I think I'll wash the utensils quickly. So by the time the the water boils, I'll go and prepare some nice meal. This is our water here. So let me wash faster. I'll get back to you. Yeah, big love. <laughs> it's running away. Baby. Baby. 
Oh, so right now I want to wash the utensils completely. Our meal is ready. Yeah, so the water boiled before I could wash the utensils. Yeah, so let me wash faster, serve the meal, then we meet. Yeah. So the utensils are here. I had washed some, so they have already dried up. Just remaining a few. Yeah, so let me do so so quickly. So actually I'm done washing right now and the sun just disappeared you know now it means the hot sun which was uh, coming it was indicating a sign of rain because it was actually so so hot you see the way the clouds are changing it will rain anytime soon from now so I've washed everything here everything is clean so I've just remained with the sufurias, which uh, I'll get to wash after they finish eating lunch. Yeah, because let me serve them so, so quickly before the food gets cold. Yeah, so I put them here like this so that they can dry up. So I think the plates which I've already washed, the first one, though they haven't dried so, so well. No, it's not that true to serve with the wet plate trying to do like this to drain the water at least it becomes dry so today we are five of us actually today the two brothers are not there they actually will come tomorrow one two three four five yeah i think this one is enough so i'd put a mat right over here our special mat a very clean mat but uh this is the work of a rat <laughs> you see it has chilled this place so maybe soon it will get to chew the whole mat it will maybe form some big patches like this some big holes yeah so let me arrange the plates then you get to serve after this i put the beans inside the jiko so that they can continue cooking yeah so today diana came is not here yeah but i think uh, she will arrive soon yeah so let me serve them then i'll get here then prepare the beans so so quickly i need also to do some winnowing on the maize which will get to mix with the beans so that they can become clean yeah trying to check out for some stones some big stones now everyone is full everyone is full actually i kind of feel some little headache yeah feel some headache headache yeah, so right now, actually I've done preparing my beans, just remaining to wash them. Then here is our maize, you can see how dirty it is. Let's see how we make it clean right now. You see, it has some weevils. Weevils usually love, they usually love these, uh, how is it called? This maize, they usually chew it. Yeah, so this is a maize. We want to do winnowing in them and uh, I want to do from here down. Later I'll collect the bad maize.
either way you can prefer to do like this So like this I'll be picking the rotten, you know when you cook the rotten maize, it usually you get like a, the maize becomes bitter. Yeah, so you have to remove it like this. You have to remove the rotten, the rotten maize like this. Now I want to light up my jiko and uh, actually these are charcoal here and it's only remaining a few, it's only remaining a few charcoal, actually you remember the charcoal which was burnt, it was uh, this sack full, there was another colorless sack full, there were like uh, two sacks with uh, one basin full, it's like they, they are almost, it's like they are all gone. I've tried checking them, but I'm seeing it's only this one remaining. Maybe again I'll go back and check again. Let me see. I was seeing it was many. Like it has depleted faster. I thought like it could last for a very long time. But it's not there actually. It's depleted. It's depleted. So I think again we'll have maybe to burn the... You see the other three logs which are remaining. I think we'll have to burn them. And uh, yeah, because the charcoal has really helped a lot. Mostly in boiling this kind of meal. Like uh, the ones which require a lot of heat. Yeah. So let me put some charcoal. I wanted to light up this uh, fire. only remaining these big pieces today I'm putting it full I'm not breaking it oh I can't believe like it's depleted it has depleted so fast so soon I think we have to put like to light them again we'll get to burn the firewood now i'm trying to cut this one into some small pieces show you how I'm arranging them. I'll get to start with these cattle. See I've left a space right here in the middle. I'll start with the small ones. Like this, then we have to start with these small sticks. Actually, today we have some visitor on the other side. There's some cows which are grazing here on the compound. On the other side, I think you can see them. Yeah, so there's a there's a, a mom who came and uh, asked if she could put the cows to graze and uh, we told her yes so long as it won't maybe chew the trees 
Yeah, so we told her just to, so she don't leave them. She just uh, like control them while she's there. Yeah, at least it can also reduce, you know, the, some bushes just right there behind. Yeah, I was trying to arrange like this. So I'm going to light my matchbox right now. So right now our fire is ready. It's ready. Yeah, so I'm going to put our sufuria on top. I'm going to put on these uh these this door to face on the other side it has to face the direction from which the wind is coming from yeah so i'll get to put i've changed the window is on this side so right now i want to put our sufria on top On the other side, I'm going to wash our beans. I already put, picked like all the stones. Yeah. So right now, I think I should at least have some rest because I feel very tired. Yeah, so family, thank you. And thank you so, so much for watching this video till this point. And uh, may God bless you. Also, there's some um, very good progress here on the other side at uh, Diana Kemi's house there's some very good progress oh my god you really love to see them yeah so thank you so much for always supporting us because uh, it's also by your support we've ma managed to make the roof like uh, everything is coming out so so well it's because of your support family yeah thank you so much and may god continue blessing you and, um, you know, may God bless you so, so much. May your pockets never dry. Yeah, you are the best. And uh, may God bless you. May God bless you. Yeah, so right now, actually, it's almost uh, 3 p.m. in the afternoon. The sun is uh, almost going. You can see the shade is right now here. It's going towards the downer part. Yeah, so thank you so much, family, for always supporting us. And uh, may God bless you. I hope to meet you again next time, tomorrow, same place, just here at African Serenity Garden. And if you haven't subscribed to Baby Caro, kindly do so for more and more amazing video. And um, drop some sweet comments. Tell me what you think about this video. And big, big love from this side. And someone told me at the comment section about Hasta La Vista. Actually, I ne never knew the spelling. But uh, uh, right now I've known the sp spelling and he said it means see you later. So hasta la vista from this side. Yeah, so this meal is for tomorrow. Tomorrow you'll see me frying it. I'll fry it tomorrow. So I want right now to stay here until the time when, um, you know, they'll start like cooking. Then I'll later add our beans right here. Yeah, I'll have to add them. So tomorrow we'll be having gideri for lunch. It's still my one of my best meals. Yeah, so I'll be still adding more firewood. I hope it'll be enough because it's very little. It's down here. It's uh, like depleted. Yeah, so big love and bye-bye from this side. I love you so, so much. You are the best. Bye-bye. Mm. Ciao, ciao. Till next time.